Okay, welcome to the first lesson of Scratch programming. First, we're going to get straight into this and um, start playing around with Scratch. Now, the first thing you need to do is open up your web browser and uh, we will look at uh, probably open up Google Chrome would be the best idea or if you're on a MacBook you can open up of course Safari it should work. Now in Google you need to type in Scratch Programming and you'll get the website okay now for Scratch Programming this is the website so it's scratch.mit which is a Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the United States and here if we just click on the main website we get some options here in the menu at the top and it also says here start creating so you can either click on start creating or you can press create at the top you'll notice there is an option to sign in and we will look at that maybe in the future to do so and also if we need to work offline we'll be able to download our files and use an offline editor which is useful so I've just click, clicked on create and it's just loading up so Scratch, a lot of students have used this one before. The, this is the newer version, so Scratch 3, I think it's called. And it just has some of the layouts a little bit different. But as you can see, more or less, on the left, you've got your um, coding blocks. So these are all the different ones, and they're in groups. So we've got motion, looks, sound, events, control, sensing, operators, variables, and my blocks. Okay, so you can see variables are here which is something you'd be familiar with from logo programming. And then um, let's say control, you've got repeat, which we've used in logo programming too. So on the right here, we've got this canvas and we've got one sprite. This is the default sprite. It's a, just a cat. And you can see it says here sprite at the bottom. So first thing I want to do is with the sprite, give him a name. So I'm going to call mine Bob. So you can just change yours and call it Bob. Um, we can also see if I've got this one selected as blue, you can see I can delete it if I want to. I can, of course, add more sprites, choose a sprite. I can paint my own one. I could um, pick for a surprise one, or I can upload a sprite, which is probably what we are going to do. We're going to create our own. And then here we've got our backdrop, and we can do the same kind of thing for the backdrop, our stage, okay, which is over here. Now, the other thing we need to look at is um, these things. This is important, X and Y positions. So you can see the X goes from sort of horizontally across and the Y is up and down, okay? Now, quite often you might think of the X and Y being zero, zero at the top left corner. But in this program, X and Y is actually at the center. So the zero, zero is at the center, all right? So our, our sprite is currently at the zero position so if I go to the left you can see now it'll go minus 118 there and if I go down I'm going minus on the y-axis if I go up I'm going in 96 there you can see on the y-axis if I go to the right that is uh, 123 on the x-axis okay so I can actually just put a fixed position of zero if I want to if I want to get it right back to zero and put it there you can also see we've got direction and size so direction is obviously uh, an angle so 90 degrees angle there you could do 180 so if i did uh, it brings up a little logo here and you can see there going down to 180 and you can do that and you've got on the negative as well so negative 90 so it goes down round like this okay so i'm going to leave it exactly on 90 by typing that in pressing enter Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is iteration. So we're going to go to Control, sorry, Events, and pick When Flag is Clicked. Now with this When Flag is Clicked, we're going to create an algorithm here, like a sub-program. So this will be a sub-program which will make our cat do a sort of dance on the spot. So you can see under Costumes, I've got these two and I can flick between them to make it look like it's animated. But you can see I'm just clicking on both of these under Costumes. So it's going and doing this. All right, so I want to automate that. I want to get the computer program to do that. So I'm going to right click on this when flag is clicked and add a comment. And I want you to write comments with 
a hash symbol. So you're going to have to find that on the keyboard. So that's a hash symbol. And we're going to say iteration, because that's what this is. We're going to get this to loop or do this forever. Okay, a loop. Iteration loop to change Bob's Bob's costume. All right, now I can make that smaller like this and leave it like that. Okay, so this is good that you just put a comment in there and it's linked to this one. So this basically describes what this sub program or algorithm is going to do, this comment. Right, so to do the comment, what we need to do is go to looks and we've got this one switched to costume. So mine's automatically set to two. You can see I've got costume one or two. This all depends on the sprite. So I've got Bob and I've got under here costume one and costume two. So I will start them off on costume one and then I'm going to get costume two. So we're going to put a delay in between this. So in the delay, what I want to do is go to control and wait a second. And then what I can do, once I've got these two, I'm going to repeat this one more time, but change the costume. So I'm going to right click and duplicate and switch the costume to costume two. Okay, so if I click that on there, and just I can move this up a little bit. Let's have a look what happens when I press play. Right, so it changes. It goes from this costume to that costume, and that's it. But it doesn't do it more than once. So what we want to do is look at how to repeat this. So this would be under our control section, and you can see we've got repeat a number of times. And this is what we did to do something like a square in Logo, which actually you can do here as well. You can do the, um, the same kind of things um, that you did in Logo uh, with, with this, because we've got a, a pen tool in here too. So what do we want to do? Well, we probably don't want to repeat a number of times with this. We actually just want them to do it forever. So this will do it forever. Now, if I pull this block out, you can see I can wrap it around one section and it turns gray. And I can also wrap it around two, three. And the further I go up, you can see as I go up and let go, it now is wrapped around all of that code. So if I press play, you can see it's doing that for me. Now, it's too slow. So we've got it set at one second. What I would like you to do now is work out what would be the best for, for our cats. How would you get it to be less than a second? 